listening to Instant Microwave Fuzz, recorded live at the Fuzz Box. Instant Microwave Fuzz is a weekly improvised sketch comedy podcast recorded live at the Fuzz Box Studios in Lahaina, the greatest little recording studio in the world. Right here on the beautiful island of Maui. Maui. To learn more about the Fuzzbox Studios and their mission to encourage, inspire, and empower individuals in developing their creative vision by providing an environment to cultivate their skills and talents, go to fuzzboxproductions.com. Tell your mom. And to learn more about Instant Microwave Fuzz, Check us out on Instagram at IMF Maui. You can support us on Patreon by going to Instant Microwave Fuzz. You can watch us on YouTube by going to Instant Microwave Fuzz. We're Instant Microwave Fuzz on all the things. Instantly in your brain. And now, on with the show. The show is here. Oh man, looks like it's just gonna be my one of my last um well, these are the final days of taking a puff on a vape. Excuse me, sister. Can I speak <laughs> with you? Oh, excuse me. Hello. Cover your mouth. <coughs> Can I uh speak with you for just a moment? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Did you just buy a vape? I did, um, but it seems like it's not gonna last for very much longer now that the the friggin' country's having a say in what we can do. I don't really understand politics, but I guess the president or the mayor doesn't want me to have vapes anymore. It's actually the FDA. Uh, but that's what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm starting a religion. We're mm-hmm. called Javapa's Witness. Is this that lizard people thing? Somebody tried to stop me outside the gas station for this last week. No, I know that guy. He's yeah. Th- different. Than lizard me. people Tony. That's what I call him. That is actually, I believe, his name. I think he changed it legally. Yeah, LPT. So it's slightly different. Mm -hmm. We are trying to create a movement in the vapor community Uh to enshrine our right to vape into a religious right. Uh Take it from a R-I-G-H-T to a R-I-T-E. Does that make sense? Do you understand what I'm saying, sister? Not... Really? We're trying to make it so they can't take these vapes away from us. They're oh, going to be a religious Is that what you're right. saying? That's what I'm saying. A sacrament. A full-on sacrament. So if it's if we call it a religion and we say we're practicing a religion, that just sounds like all a bunch of fancy words of saying we'll be fine. We can keep using vapes exactly. anyway. So what's your whole deal called? Do you have? A, is there other people part of this or am I going to be number one? It's your vapor's witness. We have several people already involved at different levels, Mm. at different levels of participation as well. But I would like to get you in on the ground floor. All you're going to do is sign this right here saying that you declare yourself a Javapers witness. Mm -hmm. Done. And then pay $1,000 to get a plot in my tobacco farm where you can make your own tobacco, get your own ethylene glycol, Mix it with the nicotine that you've extracted Uh from the tobacco and make your own vape juice that the government can't touch. Artisanal vape juice. Okay, that sounds pretty, like, small business friendly. That sounds pretty, like, think local, buy local. We're a communist collective, so no. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm still a part of this. I already signed my name away. As soon as you handed me the paper, I signed it. Absolutely. I didn't read it, but now I'm reading this byline that says, My soul may rot in hell forever. What does that mean? It may. Okay. I'm not saying it will. Should I be worried about that? I'm not. I guess down to the main principle of YOLO. As long as you don't betray us, the church, or live as though you have more than one life, Uh you're fine. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the whole vape principle, I'm definitely living like I only got one life of just... You only live once. Yeah, Yovo. Excuse me. You only vape once, yes? What is it, my brother? I'm lost. I'm lost, and I'm looking for... Spiritually? 
Yes, I'm well, empty inside. Well, this guy inside. might be able to help you. I just, I I over- just joined a religion. Yeah, I kind of overheard you guys getting... It sounds like you're excited about vape, vaping. My name is Demetrius DeMarcus, and I've got a new religion. It's called Javaper's Witness. Javaper Dacia? Close. Close enough. The idea is we are trying to start this as a religious sacrament so that the government can't take this away from us. You hear how they've already made Juul illegal? Absolutely. This is one of my biggest issues. Yeah. My name's Joseph. This is the only issue that most vapors and voters care about. Does that make sense, sir? It does. He's going to go on a bunch of big, fancy words about stuff that kind of don't make sense, but the long and the short of it is we can keep vaping. All we have to do is sign a piece of paper and say we're going to give him $1,000. I don't even think we have to give him $1,000. We just say we give him a thousand dollars. Is this real? And then he lets us live on his property, and no, he no, makes no, no, vape no. juice for us. No, 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 no. And then all we have to do is vape, and then like I don't know, say a prayer and agree to go to hell. <sighs> is that that watermelon whack-a-mole? That is. I'm gonna go inside the store real quick <clears throat> and grab a couple Mountain Dews energy drinks. You guys want something? I'll be right back. I'll take I a will- monster. I like to drink healthy. I want one of them code reds. Code red? Code red. I'm going to see if they got any more packs of watermelon douche down. Can you give me a four loco, too? Four loco? Yeah. Four loco for you? I'll take two. I have a couple a, more questions. Give me a four pack of four loco. Four, uh, four squared. Four, four, four loco squared. A 16 loco. 16 yeah. loco? Yeah. 16 loco butt down? A 16 loco butt down. That's my favorite flavor of vape juice, by the yeah. way. It's this one's on loco. me, by the way. I'll be right back. <clears throat> it's oh. great to meet you. I'll be right back. I, okay. I just ran out of this this uh, vape oil that I just bought in there. Which can one you, is that? It's the Bananarama Sling Slong. Bananarama can, Sling Slong? Can you get me another is pack that 2. of that? 2.0? It's the 16.0. 16.0? You can get a bundle with the four locos. Can I call you pack. sister? Is this, I mean, now that we're... Brother, absolutely. Here's $20. Will you get me a new car smell vape? Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, Noella. What's up, girl? Hey. Uh, Brother Demetrius, Asave. This is the high priestess in our church. Oh, Noella. you're part of the church. Nice to meet you. Are oh, you joining us? Uh, nice to meet you too. I already signed um, my life away, which, but really, when I started vaping anyway, it kind of, mm. I went along with it. Yeah. Happy avoiding religious prosecution to you. Yeah, it's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater, but um, Amen. you know. Amen. Yeah. Throw that baby out. Yeah, Absolutely. that's what my mom did. <laughs> that's Beautiful. how I ended up on the street. But that's just my story. Everyone has a story. Yeah. Okay. So. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> this is a uh, brother Solomon. <coughs> brother Solomon. Hey, so you're part of this group too? He's not. Look at me. Look at my eyes right now. Guess what? It looks what? like you have like. This is the truth. This is the word. You don't have to listen to him. No. Listen Keep to listening. Him. I know you are. Do you have a liver problem? Your eyes are very yellow. He has jaundice. Listen, oh. I, I worked in uh, research and development of new flavors of Juul, and uh, it had its consequences. We were young. We were dumb. We were trying the new weird stuff. We were trying popcorn medley, corned beef and cabbage. We were doing pierogi-flavored puff, and uh, we didn't do our research, and unfortunately... Uh-huh. I've got popcorn long. I don't have much more time. Well, uh, sir, not to be rude, but research is just an illusion that the dark web is trying to sell through to us Amen. through the reptile Amen. people Preach. that run the country. Preach. Research is fake. Yes. Facts are fake. Yes. News is fake. The only real news is fake news squared. But I cough up a lot of blood. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Brother, be honest. You tried to smoke an asbestos blunt with me the first day that I met you. This is not just due to vape juice. Don't try and spread your lies here. Dude, are you working for the feds? You working for the feds? Great question. Are you a cop? Are you a cop? Are you a cop? I don't have to to answer any questions. Legally, you have to tell us if you're a cop. I've watched so much Law and Order. He's a cop. You can't arrest us for being in a religion. Damn, man. They knew the it's, loophole. It's constitutional, I'm pretty sure, Look, that we're allowed to smoke as many vapes as we want was to. That she fake signed cough? it. She's in the religion. Was, was that fake cough even real? Actually, no. I'm sorry. Uh, I've been uh, oh sent on mission by the CIA. What you guys are doing is actually pretty close to the line. I don't think we could stop you after this. Once you go full on, uh, you know, uh, church status... There's no stopping it. We're already stockpiling weapons and stockpiling vape juice. Look at this. Mm-hmm. This is Strawberry Alley Cat. You can't take that away from me. 
What are you going to do, pig? I, listen, I've known you guys for months now. I don't believe in the things I once believed in. The only thing I believe in is my vaporizer. My vaporizer I trust. Do you have a thousand dollars? Get the paper. Well, again? I have to give you another thousand? Well, that wasn't really you. That was you, uh, some asshole that you were pretending to be. I yeah, can do what? anything. I'll, I'll, I'll make it up to you, I swear. Can what you sign your name? your name on this? Yeah, what is your real name, officer? My real name is... Lizard Tony? Oh. He's the one that... In the papers. He's the one in the papers. Didn't you try and replace your skin with scales? Listen... I'll literally believe anything you tell me. Lift up your shirt. Oh. Pull on your nipples a See? little bit. Ow. He doesn't even hardly have any nipples anymore. It's little little what scales. Where did you find all those scales? Yeah. This is that from like a, a bearded dragon? He's a snake in the grass. It's a koi, mostly. Uh. Yeah, I scaled him. Huh. That is... Oh, wow, that is very slick. Mm, I, I moisturized as well. So do you guys have a church or a place we could go to, Um, I guess... Worship in the name of the vape. We could go under the bridge. That's yeah. where we usually go. Oh, I have an underpass. Church, the yeah. church of under the bridge. So, so or it's we, actually under the bridge. Show you, yes. It's, yeah. it's, it's under the bridge with us. Right over here. Okay. This way. I just, it's not. It's a short walk. I'm supposed we to go to go work far. in 30 minutes, but I feel like I should just probably not you show up. You can tell them you can't work anymore because of your religion, but you still need to get paid. Okay, for religious mm-hmm. exemption. Religious, it's exactly. Okay. Hey great. guys, here I'm back. Uh, Here's your new fresh car smell. Mm. They gave me two for one. What about the four local? They only had point. They only had fifteen point oh. No, the four the the four local. They yeah. had plenty of that. Here you go. Here you Thank go. you. Here's your energy drink. Thank you. They only had the watermelon fifteen. Okay, I thought you were saying they only had the fifteen point oh of the four local, and I'm like, that shit should be thirty two percent. Have you guys heard about Javapa Knuckles? What about what? Uh, uh, about is that, J- 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 is that the, the golden city that lives underneath the crust of the earth, the Holy Grail so you're of, of her, the of, Holy Grail of vape society? It's also a competition. We weren't going to get vape monopolis six point so Somebody once season three. Somebody once told me he was captain. Vapenopolis and I believed him and had sex with him, but then it turned out that he also just lived under the bridge over near Main Street. I've seen that city with my own eyes. You were that guy, weren't you? I that w- I had sex with that lives under the bridge at Main Street. I th- I was w- hoping you'd remember. Quit calling yourself Captain Vapenopolis. Okay? Vapen on Main no, Street. No, Lizard Man Tony. Hey, hey, hey! Can I can I ask a favor, y'all? I'm, I'm trying to proselytize my new religion here, and I don't need a bunch of weirdos clogging up the sidewalk here where I'm trying to like get. Can y'all just go under the bridge Va- and Va- fucking puff? Vapor priestess, you want to take us to the the gathering place? Yeah, if you've signed, listen, if you, if you signed, you know. Brother Demetrius, if they have signed the paper, send them with me. I'm heading back. I'm going to start walking because it's going to take me a minute to go yeah. that point one mile. Yeah. Does Just, somebody have an electric sign the paper, scooter? We could all load up on... I <coughs> 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 the wheelie skate shoes. Excuse me, brother. Good to Excuse me, brother. <coughs> <coughs> Previously, on Alaskan Outhouse, the plane had crashed into the middle of the wilderness. All of our contestants had to pile into one outhouse, sitting on each other's laps just to stay cold. Ow! Eight people deep, and one frozen ass outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's my turn. It's my turn. It's drafty down here at the bottom. I, I can feel the, the, the cold air on Ooh. my bum. Get oh. your bum off of me. I told you. Once that thing turned to ice, I don't want it on me anymore. Maybe we can we can check the wreckage and see if we can find s- some fabric to clog up the cracks. Oh, my, my toes are black now. Well, you guys clearly aren't in this uh, for the win. If I start building an outhouse quickly, then I'll win the million dollars. That's it. Everybody get off. I got to poop. Oh, Aww. not again. Aww. 
Oh, it smells and it's so cold. It just punches you in the lung. After several days, the contestants decided to build a new outhouse. An in-house that they could sleep in without sitting on each other's laps or smelling human shit. Jerry, I told you not to shit in the in-house. You shit in the outhouse. Why did you poop in our in-house? I can't keep these two things separate. I can't even walk. My toes are crumbling. Let me just poop where I want to. Is that a poop, a dirt, or a toe on the ground? You Americans are so pussy. Well, I'm going to build the most modern outhouse Alaska ever seen in the backcountry. Survive a fucking plane crash, you American pussies. I'll be back. We got a flush baseboard. We got tile walls. All of it and plumbing inside the outhouse. Pussy. Fucking slob. Just because your parents made you survive a plane crash for a fucking sport doesn't mean you can talk to us like that. Excuse me, I went to international school here in America. I'm actually more American than you are, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I don't understand anything he says. Could you please get off my lap? Which one of us? We're all on your lap. Sergey, the most American contestant out of all of them, even though he's not American, built a state-of-the-art outhouse. One with a room where he could vomit, shit, and piss, and another where he could live. Have you guys ever heard, (laughs) that's what you're going to be hearing after you vomit in my palace outhouse, because you won't be able to shit, but if you party with me enough, if you prove yourself, if you prove how American you are, you will be able to take a shit in my palace. Sergey, you didn't invent oomph, oomph. We've all been ons, ons, ons since we were born, okay? You think you're American? Have you ever seen a league of their own? Have you ever seen Field of Dreams? Do you know who Babe Ruth is? I've seen all of your American movies. I'm the most American. That is my, that is my German Shepherd guard dog. You guys don't even know, do you? Can you? Pe- ow! 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 My ankle! Can you get her off my lap, please? Oh. Who brought a freaking German Shepherd into an outhouse building plane crash competition? Folks, I think Sergey's building a DJ booth into his outhouse and a VIP room with bottle service. And he's breeding the German Shepherds. We're fucked, man. We're fucked. I think oh. I heard a wolf howl. What if they get here before we can get into the DJ booth? I wouldn't worry about it. You know, Sergey, he just has all these bells and whistles, but the judges they're going to be looking for good construction and, a, you know, a shapely bum hole. Well, That's true. Just focus I, on the work. I've been, uh, I've spent literally 36 hours just carving out the shape of my own ass into the snow. While Sergey worked on his DJ booth, the rest of the contestants bitched and moaned standing over a shithole. Wait, you guys don't shit in the snow? What's in between you and the snow? The outhouse. What? (laughs) Okay. Well, next you're gonna tell me when you soft competition. When you take your shit in your house, you use some kind of porcelain fixture to take your poop away. I would like to pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Shut the fuck (laughs) up, Sergey. For which it stands. (laughs) Sergey, I'm so fucking tired of your shit. Someone's at the, the door of the it's, outhouse. Oh, no, I'm just it's, working on my outhouse. I don't know what the rest of y'all are doing. It's just the uns uns of the beats of Sergey's DJ table that he somehow got to bring here with him. It, suddenly, the producers decided to throw a curveball and introduce a new character, one with a background in outhouses and the great outdoors. Oh, my name is Brent Memphis. Mm-hmm. I come from Louisiana. And guess what? I've been contracting for 15 years. I can easily end it, baby, our house up in here on last year. Are you supposed to help us? I'm one of the best it is. So, wait, y'all, new competition? Mm, well, Are you no, supposed yeah, to help? every day. Do you mm, help baby. us or are you competing against us? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going for a million dollars. One million dollars. 
Between you and Sergey, I can't understand a fucking word that anybody says in this goddamn in-house or out-house. If you were American enough, you would understand he said a million dollars. That's what he wants to win. Well, don't listen Sergey, to his old backhanded little butt leg. Sergey, would... stop kissing the swamp I don't trust no ass. French people, even though I speak real. I would like to make an announcement. I'm running for president of the United States of America. Uh, of course you are. Of course jokes. you are. Oh, jokes on Sergey. I hit all the red, white, and blue paint colors, so he can't even use them for his outhouse. <laughs> and wait until he <laughs> finds out that his German Shepherd is an American. <laughs> now, here. You get me that. You get me that shovel over there. I'm not gonna build up that outhouse, good. Give what me that it? shovel and over there. What does he say? Give me that shovel. I'm gonna build it up good now. Shoving what? Listen, you think he's a? I'm gonna show some shit. I think we should he farm. He wants to shove shit. Making that booyah base. Hey, mm. we should leave him and Sergey alone. No, we need belt. to form an alliance and just let these two go against each other. Yeah, show again. Knock each other out show of again. the competition. We should clog up their outhouse. Show again. Look at oh, me. I love Look it. at me, show again. I'm going to go hunt some pine cones. Look at me. Mm. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to you, Sergey. Absolutely. How are you? <laughs> I'm the dandy. Well, good. You look great. You would work really well in my kitchen making a boule bays. <laughs> you guys should just suck each other's dicks already. Excuse me. Would you like to be the guest of honor tonight at the DJ party? In the DJ house? I'd rather take a shit in a hole. And guess okay. what? That's what I have to do. Yeah, yeah. Every night. That's fine. I've got plenty more options. I grew up taking jump. You know, know your, you know, your country river. lost the war, right? You know Americans had to come and save you, right? I am American. My country always wins the war. You aren't fucking shit. I bleed red, white, and blue. You bleed whatever your country's colors are. Probably red. My legs are asleep. I'm bleeding red, white, and blue all over my mm-hmm. asshole. Mm-hmm. That looks like get a rich. Off of me. Oh my His ass looks like a rich gumbo. Why are you all still sitting on my lap? Say both. All the shit we have to deal with, and Jerry's just been dying for a week. Just figure out, are you going to live or are you going to die? Where that boy with the toes go? He's taking all the attention. I think we lost that boy with the toes. Next time on Alaskan Outhouse. Oh! Let's make some toe gumbo! And I would like to give a pot for every kitchen... And a uh, fried pig for every bedroom. Uh, Sergey for president of the United States of America. Meanwhile, his house, outhouse, isn't even complete. I'm almost done. Let's make America, uh, Germany again. Mm. Can I come in the VIP section? I just want to take a shit. <laughs> Hi, I'm the Pod Piper. I just want to invite you to my show this Friday at the King's Grounds right outside the castle. The entire kingdom is coming out. So bring your kids, bring your families, your pets, anybody that likes pipe music. <laughs> mm. Ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome, in his kingdom debut, the Pied Piper. Yeah! Woo, I guess. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard this guy before. You Woo. suck. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Pied Piper, but you can call me friend. You look weird. What? Well, I, I'm, I'm just here to play some music for the nice people. Bring back the Friday Night Jester. We don't like you. Show us your tits. Boo. You call it entertainment? I was more entertained with that mule that but, was out in the field that one time. But, 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 I just came here to entertain. Jamon. <laughs> Fix your fucking face. <laughs> that one hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna skip my solo and skip out of here. This is the worst concert ever. Get out of here. Boo, loser. Later that night, backstage. <laughs> Bubbles, you don't understand. They were so mean to me out no, there. No, that was a great show. You looked great. You played great. I didn't even get to 
one goddamn song, Bubbles. I meant to say you pretended to play great. I'm going to get even. I'm going to lure all of their children away from the town. And then let's not go into details just stay away after from the, that. Just stay away from the comment section about this show. And whatever you're planning to do in the future, just remember we got another show in another town that we got to get to. Hey, what what hey. did the comment section say? The, just don't. Well, do you remember what you heard out on stage when you what made you cry and turn around and leave? Barely. I've blocked it out. Oh, Mr. Piper, Mr. Piper. Yes. Um, this is yeah, your, this uh, is I'm, your, uh, I'm the I'm the manager here yeah. at this venue, and um. Unfortunately, because you did not fulfill your full time on stage, we will not be paying you in those 90 shekels that we we had agreed upon prior. But I was booed off stage. They exactly. threw projectiles and eggs and tomatoes. Exactly. And eggs and tomatoes are very hard to come by in this kingdom. So that kind of really speaks to how poorly they they felt about you. He, he threw that in my face. I honestly think you should probably just give up um i hope this level of feedback isn't going to create some kind of monster or enemy out of you what was your name again um my name is lady mcquire lady mcquire do you have children at an autonomous age that enjoy recorded music don't answer that um as his representative you don't it don't, just we're about listen, to get I'm even reading steven the, i'm reading what the if comments. i did i'm reading the comments here and it's getting pretty bad. We about to get even Stephen. I'm going to lure all the children of the village. No, 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 no. Just stick to your talents. We The people want to hear music. Well, also, um, just so you know, um, not only do, are we not giving you the 90 shekels, uh-huh. uh, that cantaloupe and those hard-boiled eggs that you ate before, you owe us for those now because those are only for performers that fulfill their time. But... I just this is the worst gig ever. I'm get I'm getting new management and I'm gonna hit the road. I'm gonna be called something new. Maybe like the pipe layer. And then that way I'll come back to y'all town and you won't even know who I am. Uh we just got a comment from the Kingdom Police Department. They wanna interview you. By what? I uh, have no are idea. Are you the guy that seems to be showing up every time that there's kids that go missing from kingdoms yeah, we have um a sh- the the county sheriff here and he wants to ask you some questions uh hello sheriff listen there seems to be a lot of discrepancies uh going on with uh prior performances and uh missing children Every time that you go into a town, apparently children are missing. I think I need to have you come down with us. Listen, just I want you to talk with my representative here. Her name is Jelaine Maxwell. I think you're going to find that she will have all the answers for you. I'm going to slip out the back door right now. Here, pour yourself a glass of Jesus juice. And uh, I will be right back in 35 years. To extract revenge. Hello, officer. We have a rowboat we can put you on and take you to a private island that is, um, we can discuss this a little bit further. Okay. Hey, good morning, guys. How crazy was that, uh, that LSD we took last crazy. night? I'm so glad we went to Fuzz Fest. That was awesome. I know. I'm, um, I, I had a blast, but then I, I went home and I went to sleep and I had some pretty weird dreams. Do you guys have weird dreams after? Too? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. You Fuck guys did, dreams. right? I'm still a little shaky right now. I'm scared. Yeah. I had a dream that there was some like master religion being created as a loophole for people to smoke. Vapes. vapes and i were, had the same dream yeah they were being called like vapists wow. or something vaposis witness yeah the vapors oh man i forgot it as soon as i woke up do you ever have that like it was on the tip of your tongue when there you were like dreaming a place, like where we wanted to go like yeah. like an outhouse like or an something. opolis of some sort yes yeah. an outhouse opolis yeah oh I, I wish i wrote it down but when yeah. i when i fall asleep on like old mattresses on the floor of some person's garage you never really have a notebook Wait nearby a minute, guys. Javaper witness? Yeah. Did you dream about that too? I don't even know, but 
what just listening to you guys stuff. What there did you dream about last night? An outhouse competition. <gasps> and and was there a plane crash involved? Yeah, it was like it was like a fake plane crash and the survivors of the fake plane piled into an outhouse for a number of days and then they decided that they had to build an outhouse? Right, and when, was there one really douchey foreign dude? Yeah, there was like I don't know. No, no they, like they, they, really no. douchey. He was really douchey. Like he had a Louisiana accent? That wasn't the douchey guy. The the oh, foreign guy was the rush the douchey guy. <sighs> Wait, wow. in you guys dream, was there a DJ booth and there was a piper inside trying to kidnap kids? I had the exact same dream. Michael Jackson. I could have sworn it was Michael Jackson. It came off as Jacko now that you say that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, but even oh the, the creepy Michael Jackson-esque Pied Piper guy was not as bad as that, as that foreign guy German, from the outhouse maybe, yeah. guy, right? Everybody, the guy that was great? The he great was, German guy? He was, he was awesome. I don't, in my dream, he was rad. In my dream, he was kind of a dick. Hey, you guys. Big loser vibes. My legs are asleep. Can you please get off my lap? Wait. It's this the happened in the dream, too. I feel you're, warm, though. You're Wait, right. It did. If your legs fall asleep in a dream, they <gasps> fall asleep in real life, too. Is this real life or is this a dream? We call it IRL. Somebody spin a bottle. What will that do? <laughs> <laughs> Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> if you keep kissing and don't stop, mm -hmm. it's a dream. Let me get off your lap before you... I don't want to be in between this kiss Life anymore. would be a dream if I could take you up in paradise, paradise up, up above. above. And you could tell me I'm the only the one, one that, that you love. love. Life would be a dream, sweetheart. Hello, hello, hello again. Oh, life would be a dream. If I could take you up in paradise up above, up above and take you into the DJ booth, life would be a dream, dream sweetheart. sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Outhouse, I mean, outhouse, is, outhouse. outhouse. My DJ booth. I'm German and most American to you. It's coming off douchey. My name is Sergey and I build the DJ booth. Life, Life would be a dream, dream sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Shaboom, shabooby boo. Oh, wait, here's the bus. This has been. A presentation, a presentation of Instant, of instant Microwave Fox, a weekly improvised sketch comedy podcast recorded at the Fuzzbox Studios in Lahaina. To learn more about the Fuzzbox Studios and their mission to encourage, inspire, and empower individuals in their development of their creative vision by providing an environment to cultivate their skills, Go to fuzzboxproductions.com to learn more about Instant Microwave Fuzz. Go to IMF Maui on Instagram. Support us on Patreon. Find us on YouTube, Facebook, all the major podcasting platforms. Search for Instant Microwave Fuzz. Tell your friends. And big thanks to our patrons, Will and Alan. We thank you. We'll see you next time.